Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I'm going to be getting to one of my best and most favorite uh, styles, the Imperial IPA. This one is called Citra Ass Down, a uh, very clever name, by Against the Grain Brewing out of Louisville, Kentucky. And they're brewer owned, they say on the can, they're very proud of that. Uh, Citra Ass Down, obviously I'm assuming there are going to be Citra Hops in it. 8.2% alcohol by volume. As you can see, this is a brewery that always has some interesting, fun um, label art. I actually, for the longest time, did not know that they did anything in cans, so very interested to see that. I'm a big fan of the pounders. I feel like it's kind of the perfect amount for me. A lot of times I don't just want 12 ounce. I want a little bit more, but I don't want a whole nother beer, so perfect. Um, also on this, they recommend Drinking out of the can, I want to honor that, so I'm just doing a much smaller taster glass this time around so you can see what the coloration is, so I'll just get that in there, and then when I'm drinking the rest of it, I'll drink it from the can, as they intended. This beer was uh, given to me by my mother-in-law, Dawn Bowling, so thank you very much, Dawn. She picked it up when she went on a trip, and I think she actually um, stopped into the actual brewery, so very cool. As you can see, very dark orange color, uh, super filtered. You can see right through it, no haze whatsoever. Yeah, it looks very clear. Oh, yes, very, very citrusy. There's a lot of grapefruit, a little bit of a touch of like a lemony aspect on there. Tons and tons and tons of citrus, very tropical-ish. It's got a nice kind of caramelly backbone to it too. Real deep, rich flavors. Oh, I'm sorry. Aromas. Smells awesome. Smells so good. It smells like it's going to be pretty kind of sticky, almost like you have to chew it. Hoping for that. I like my Imperial IPAs that way. Doesn't really smell like 8.2%. You know, I'm not perceiving much alcohol, but let's check it out. Oh, yeah. It's got a little bit of that funk that Citra Hops have. Um, the little, some people say kind of like body odor type funk to it, which not in a bad way, obviously. Um, it's got a little bit of a hay type finish to it. Uh, the bitterness is a little, it's kind of like medium. Uh, I was expecting maybe a little bit more bitterness, but I'm happy that there's a little bit less. Um, it's pretty clean on the finish. It actually finishes um, a lot less viscous than I thought it was going to. There's grapefruit flavor on there, a little caramelly. It's like grapefruit peel coming in as well. And like I said, there was like a little bit of like the slightest touch of like a lemony aspect. And I'm kind of getting that. Hmm. A little bit of hay though still on the end, like I was saying. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, the bitterness lingers a little bit more than I'd like, but I'm going to guarantee that's just because this is on the colder side at the moment. As this warms up, I guarantee that lingering bitterness is kind of going to die down a little because of the juiciness and citrusy aspects going to ramp up. But this is a nice beer. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It does taste like the 8.2%. I am perceiving a little bit of that alcohol. Uh, but nice beer. And like I said, you know, I'm just going to drink the rest of this and then I'm going to drink the rest from the can as against the grain would like me to. Gotta honor it. Against the grain, I'm doing it. Anyway, nice beer. This is actually, I believe, the first against the grain beer I've ever had. So it's a good introduction. Thanks everyone for checking this episode out. Stay tuned for the next episode. But in the meantime, if there's anything in particular you want to see for these videos or for the podcast, just send us an email at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com and we will certainly see what we can figure out. All right, thanks so much and go have yourself an awesome beer.